Hey everyone, how you doing? Clint Butler here from the SEO Intelligence Agency and on behalf of Dory Friend and the entire SIA team, thank you for watching. We're having another test video. Uh, this is test number 12, the overuse of all caps. Is it a myth? Can you use all caps? Can you not? Is it going to hurt your rankings or isn't it? Let's find out. Let's, let's get into it. Okay, so... Um, this actually came from a member of SIA. The member had a site audit done, and he he or she was told that their uh, their headlines in their articles um, and, and some of their articles is was uh, they're overusing the the caps. The you know shift control lock, and you just type out and, and go to town. Um, obviously, there are some fonts that all look like caps, but they were using all caps too much. And the, the idea was that that was actually hurting them. Um, as it, you know, the initial instinct is, oh, that's crap, that ain't going to happen. Um, and, and we figure that Google doesn't read uh, font size, doesn't look outside of the HTML tags. And, well, it'll see the font size in the, in the tag, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, right? Um, that's just it's kind of implied with us. And then there was this theory by Adele Garcia and, I, and I'm looking for the source of this, so um, I'm trusting the write-up versus actually being able to find the source. But they mentioned that keyword density and optimization don't apply to the search engines. Or his theory, or her theory, I'm Adele, I'm going to assume that it's a female, um, was that, um, no, it's a he, uh, was that Google actually strips out all your HTML code, and it, then all it saves is the content. Um, the words that's all it's saving, and then that's what it's quite categorizing and basing on. And that's that's a theory, <laughs> I mean, it's a theory. Um, obviously, we, we know now that that's entirely incorrect, but it's a theory, right? So, uh, but this this test actually it, it kind of debunks that. So, with the results, what happened was there was uh, two rounds of tests, so it was tested twice. Uh, 400 words in two pages of the test pages and then eight control pages. The test pages had 400 words, 2% density. 6.5% of the article was uppercase and 75% of the keywords. That's 75% of that 2% two, two keyword density was in all caps. And the control pages didn't use any caps at all. Uh, and in the second test, it was pretty much the same setup, uh, and they were just published at the same time. Uh, and um, let me read it. Yeah, it was just the same setup. It's just done it again. Uh, so round one, uh, both pages, the test pages and the control pages uh, were indexed. The control pages outranked the test pages in exclusively. Uh, and then round number two, by the end of the test, and Basically, what that means is we leave these tests running for 45 to 60 days uh, just to get some changes, see some variants. Maybe Google's got us testing in a sandbox. Who knows, right? So we leave it going. So by the end of the test, the only pages that were indexed were the control pages. The test pages were gone. So what does that mean? Well, one, I think we need to retest this. Uh, it, it makes sense to me now that you know the results, which is all you know, a lot of caps is bad. Okay. Uh, but it, it makes sense to me why they would do that. And because they are reading and understanding font size and they are reading emphasis and bold and strong, those have an effect. And italicize and underline all have some effect in one way or another. It makes sense to me that all caps would have an effect. What doesn't make sense to me is why Google would care. Like if your design and your font for a heading to get it to look the way you want you have to put it in all caps why would that affect your search rankings it just doesn't you know make any sense to me why google would care and then you, know, you think about it it could be um emphasis and you're diluting the emphasis of the page because if everything is yelling or if any everything is jumping up and standing and shouting you don't hear anything right so think of it that way. So if everything is emphasized on your page in your headline, then none of that headline is really standing out as differential, which could be an indicator of why the test page dropped. So in the short term, if you're doing that, if you're using um, all caps in your headlines and you're stuck on page two, 
Does that change your headlines to, to no longer use all caps? Maybe change your font so it looks like all caps, but your fonts, but it's not all caps. You know what I mean? Um, and see if uh, you get a ranking boost. I don't suspect you'll get a big one, but it might. <laughs> you might get something. Uh, and this is pretty interesting. This is definitely something we're going to re- relook at again and just see if it's still on our negative do not do list. All right, so if you like that test, um, let me know in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And I'll see you next time.